Well, I think my windlass has finally uh, given up for good. I worked on this thing after I returned from uh, Cat Harbor the other day, and it is no bueno. I think that thing is uh, headed for the scrap heap. So, I have ordered a new Lofren's Tigris. It'll be here in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be our very next project on uh, Aeronautical. It's going to be a fairly large one because we're going to have to uh, remove this one and fill all of the bolt holes because the uh, new one is going to have to move over to starboard about an inch and a half to fit. So it'll be a little bit of work. Nothing, uh, nothing that we can't handle and uh, it will be a major improvement for the boat. Something I should have done a long time ago, but I was trying to salvage this one so I didn't have to spend the money. But anyway, it's, uh, it is gonna be a major improvement for the boat, so I'm looking forward to the uh, progress. And we'll film it along the way, show you how we go about doing it. Obviously, you can tell we are in the slip this weekend. Hey everyone, welcome back to Flight Level Zero. We wanted to give you a heads up that we're taking a short break from filming for a couple of weeks. And for a pretty exciting reason. Carmen and I are celebrating our anniversary and we have planned a special trip to one of the world's top scuba diving destinations. For those of you that may not be familiar with it, Bonaire is a small Caribbean island just north of Venezuela that's a diver's dream come true. It's famous for having some of the clearest waters and the most pristine coral reefs in the world. Bonaire has made marine conservation a priority for years, which means that the reefs are incredibly well preserved and home to a vast range of marine life. From vibrant coral gardens to colorful fish, sea turtles, and even the occasional seahorse. There's so much beauty under the water, we want to go see it. It's the perfect place for us to disconnect, explore the underwater world, and enjoy a new adventure together. What's unique about Bonaire is its shore diving culture. Unlike many places where you need a boat to reach dive sites, in Bonaire, you can actually access most of the dive spots right from the shore. This makes it easy to explore at your own pace and gives a lot of flexibility to dive in spots known for crystal clear visibility and vibrant marine ecosystems. I can't wait to see this underwater world that they call a paradise. And hopefully, we'll come back with some great footage to share with you. Now look, don't worry, we'll be back soon enough and when we are, we have some pretty exciting plans for flight level zero once we're home. We'll be hopping back on board and setting our sights on new adventures. Catalina Island is always on our itinerary, especially Avalon around Christmas time. It's such a magical time there and the holiday vibe is something we love soaking up. But we also feel like it's time to start expanding our horizons just a bit. We're ready to reach beyond just Catalina and the Channel Islands and explore some new spots around Southern California and Northern Mexico. We've been talking about sailing further afield for a while now, and with each trip, we're realizing just how much more there is to uh, see. Whether it's exploring hidden coves along the coast, anchoring at lesser known islands, or venturing further down towards Baja, we're ready. We are ready to start making it happen. We love bringing you all along for these adventures, and with your support, we're inspired to keep pushing our boundaries and exploring new waters. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with fresh energy, new ideas, and a renewed passion for sailing to uh, some new spots. In the meantime, thank you so much for your support and understanding as we take this short break. We can't wait to get back to the boat, set sail, and continue sharing our journey with all of you. Until then, happy holidays, fair winds, and we'll see you soon.